there are some ingredients that I am still searching for, which I will do after I'm halfway. But I'm very sure I want to use these chilies, so I'm already cleaning the chilies. Chef, <laughs> it's, it's actually kandari, and are you going to use all these chilies today? Yeah, I'm going to feed you with them. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's uh, you know uh, you are responsible for this because you said spicy. I never thought he's going to have take so much of chilies. Either lam kandari, molar. No, but actually, this kandari chili it appears that it's very spicy. It's actually not that spicy. Maybe for Chinese, so, but no, for Indians, it is nothing to do with Chinese or an Indian. But uh, it is fresh chili is normally when you cook it, you feel the spice in your mouth, but it doesn't burn you. Ah, it's yeah, it, but it doesn't burn the system. It's just got the, it's just got a very pleasant spice. It's like eating a vegetable, and because we live in Kerala with the humidity, these chilies really do help you. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crush some garlic. We normally take equal quantities and uh, chilies together. Oh. Just want to kind of pound them together and uh, use that to make a somewhat not exactly a paste, but I just want to crush them together. Normally they use a wooden mortar and pestle, but this is the first time we'll be using a stone one because we want to just make do with what we have in the house. This is the authentic way because wooden. This is the real traditional way. This is the traditional way you do it in Kerala. Yeah. But uh, the cuisine that we are going to be doing, they normally use a wooden mortar and pestle. So yeah, I'm just going to be using. I can feel How the spice here. Yeah. I can feel the spice here. I love here. the flavors. Yeah. Forty years old. Yeah, I mean I love it. Look at this. Aunty, this would be the last time you are telling someone that you love spicy food. <laughs> you go to eat spicy yeah, food. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah so, ah. so we managed. Uh, she had some beautiful prawns that she had in the fridge. So we are going to do something with the prawns. There's something with the uh, squid. So I'm going to make a nice salad yeah, with the squid squids. as well. So, yeah. So every time I see seafood, uh, I like to use a lot of more chilies. Because uh, fresh chilies, green chilies go very well with seafood, and uh, yeah, I just love the flavors that uh, these chilies bring out of uh, fresh seafood. So, so I'm done with this. So we just kind of grind it till not. It's not really a paste if you see. Yeah, yeah, it's just crushed. Yeah, so we just lightly crushed, and I'm kind you of done with it. You want to really this. grind it? Yeah, I'm kind of done with this, so I just have to dice this a little bit, get some juice out of this lemon. We're kind of done actually. We're ready. We're ready for some help. Yeah, it's too late. I'm almost set. Oh, is it? Yeah. The right. So that's the right time I asked you. So yeah, it's the right time you asked me. <laughs> I've got the stuff for two dishes ready now. Okay, been talking in between. To you. Oh, by in the between. way, ah. oh, so by, by the way, we are doing food to see you with yeah. Chef Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are kind of halfway done. Okay. I've just got the rice. You cook the rice. The soup is done. This is done. I've just got the fish. I'm trying to figure out how to cook the fish and what to and do. And any with the fish. guesses? I get the Thai feel, Asian yeah, Thai yeah, looks, feel. Looks, looks, looks uh, yeah, yeah, it is. In, it is in fact like going. Thai, thai way. Yeah, thai we are way, going yeah. a Thai <laughs> way now because uh, what you have, like I mentioned, is very, very Thai that you have in your gardens and all. So it just kind of got me excited. I'm going to just blanch the squid in this tom yum liquid. Oh. So I don't want to waste the flavor of the squid. That's a good way. Uh, that's seriously a great idea. See the way we've cut it now. The squids have nicely curled up. Ah, see that's an excellent idea. We can actually do it at home. Try it at home. Squids, you don't want to overcook them. Ah. Now we just. I just curled so beautifully. Yeah. So this is. Well behaved squids. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Very very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> just a different way we've cut our squids. Yeah. And. How come you got the design on them? It's the way we cut the squid ah. that you get this design here. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, so. I just wanted my viewers to see that you could see the design. It's like as it. I thought it just it's came like that. It just no, came no, like no. that. No, but then it's the way. Just cut it that way. And squids normally you shouldn't try and overcook them. Okay. Because when you overcook squids, then uh, it right. gets very rubbery. Yeah. So now the squid is almost done. Just another ten or twelve seconds more. Seafood should never be overcooked. So the squids is done. It's done. Squids is done. Okay. 
So, so just wanted to tell you because I've got this golden note from chef. Cooking simple a warning. Let's say cooking in our time. That is simple a warning. The pre-cooking has to be really prim and proper and has to be very clean and neat. Cooking looks very simple now. Yeah, we just need to slightly yeah. cool it, but not too much. So, how we season this is very simple too. So, I'm going to just put a little bit of the onions here. Okay. For the salad. Yeah. I'm going to toss this with that. This is the. I'm just going to use some onions, uh, the tomatoes, tomatoes, and some celery. Okay. So. And not finely cut also. That's the way it is. Yeah. So, what we what we're going to do is that we're going to use some of this. Yeah. You remember we made this. The yeah. magic masala now. The the garlic and the chili. You remember we took the lemon. Yes. The. the way when the squid is little bit warm, it kind of absorbs all the flavors. Oh. Okay. So that's why. We just blanch it fresh. If you have sugar syrup, you use sugar syrup, or you just use sugar. This kind of gives it a nice. And that's. Uh, yeah, this is fish sauce. Okay. Let's put a more sprinkle of it. Just a tinge of sugar. A little, pinch of sugar. A little bit more. Yeah. Sugar, because we're using the fish sauce, you need to kind of balance the yeah. whole uh, whole thing. So. And then the chili. I'm getting a tangy taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that pungent tangy taste. Yeah. See, we, here we just want to keep flavors as fresh as possible. Okay. Yeah. This is done. This is done. That's all we want to do. We want to keep it very simple. I never knew it was so simple. Want you, you to make it look. Want you to enjoy the flavors of the squid because it's so fresh. Yeah. That's all. You don't need to do anything more to this. Now I realize why he asked us to sit down. Yeah. That's it. So I'm gonna keep this. This is done. Now I just have to put a plate in and I'm gonna serve it to you. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Let this. So as I said, like you know, cooking. Uh, the carnum of mine was simple. I don't know. But cooking in the morning, pre-cooking, I don't know. Cause it's a bit difficult. That's just a little difficult. Yeah. All these uh, cutting, chopping, cooking. and finely cut, Rubber cleaning, and everything. So you'll have to be exactly proper with your pre-cooking so that you can make the cooking Please. look quite yeah. simple and easier. Oh, 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 oh,